Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be live reacting to the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom announcement trailer that has just been released for the Nintendo Switch. I am a huge Legend of Zelda fan. It's probably one of my favorite franchises of all time, maybe up there with Uncharted and God of War. Absolutely incredible franchise. So let's get right into the trailer because I cannot wait to just watch this for the first time. Before we get like just like before we go any further, I I would I'm just absolutely speechless how beautiful everything is. Just like I know it's just not the full. I'm not gonna. I just wanted to watch an introduction. That absolutely the animation from Link's uh, Link Between Worlds animation is absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely breathtaking. Just like watching some of this 2D animation, 2D slash 3D animations, kind of like a hybrid of both, I'm pretty sure. But like just watching it, just absolutely. Uh, it just gives me like childhood like feels going on right now. Wow. So let's get right back. Let's get right back. Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. He's the goat. He's the goat. What you just saw was the latest installment, the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Okay. This time around, Link has vanished. Now it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. Well, I guess confirmed the Legend of Zelda has gone woke. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I am super excited. I actually, it's not quite the first time you're, you're actually kind of like, you've already played a Zelda in other games. Um, obviously Smash Bros. But like in a Zelda title, I guess this is the first time you actually physically get to play a Zelda. I guess the closest thing before that was Spirit Tracks. But at the same time, I don't think that really counts because Zelda, as a ghost, was possessing a kind of... I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. A phantom, I'm pretty sure. But I'm super excited. Let's just see what, let's see what happens with the gameplay. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Yes. No? we wanted to create a new gameplay style that brings okay. inventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. I respect that. I respect that honestly something new something different always ex always always it's definitely something always i'm always excited looking uh, i cannot speak i'm always excited for something new especially in the legend of zelda series to explain more please take a look at this video stolen away across the vast lands of hyrule Strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. I, I'm, I'm liking it so far. Like, again, I can't speak on too much, but the animation, 
style, cartoon style, is absolutely beautiful. It's adorable and cute at the same time. But something feels like, obviously, there's a bit more to the gameplay and stuff. By waving the tri rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even oh. Oh, never mind. If there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. That's actually pretty sick. That is so creative, especially from a top-down perspective. Wow. I'm impressed. Just like that. This is crazy. Wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might mm. be surprised at what you discover. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll wait, what? That's insane. Wait, so I guess like the first instance of battling any of these guys, I want, well, I guess the first instance is going to be a bit difficult. I'm guessing you want to like carbon copy, like something easy at first, kind of like the, I guess the green guys, and then use like, um, oh my gosh, on top of my head, I can't remember what they're called. I can't remember. Oh my God, it's been a while. By your side. Jeez. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create Sick. based on the situation. Wisdom is key after <laughs> all. Bunny. Wow. I'm just thinking of the whole, like I'm just thinking of the back of my head, like the potential for all this gameplay is actually ridiculous. I wonder if you can make like echoes or like I guess echoes of boss battles you get into so like you're in the middle of a fight and stuff and you're struggling and so you drop a little copy or like a little echo of of a boss you have already encountered and defeated that would be pretty sick i'm not gonna lie the potential is a lot potential's a lot right there so far we have Wow, just the un like the unlimited potential for like getting around the movability in the combat is like limitless right now. That's pretty cool. Well, you have your own gr grenade launcher. I like it. In a high rule oh, that is chic. The oh, Deku. Deku, Deku tree. Jelly. Was that like the jelly from... Yeah, that's the jelly from Ocarina of Time. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, so like, I believe that looks like a boss... That looks like a boss battle right there. I wonder if you're able to make an echo of this or what might what what probably will happen is you might be able to do a copy or an echo of a specific boss but like on a smaller size so it's not too overpowered. How was that? It was wisdom. Oh. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the echo ability which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of echoes in this game. Okay. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. Oh. oh. Wait. To be honest, that? I haven't counted them all yet. That's so cool. You need to get across map, but uh, there's no platforms. So oh, just create your own. This is like, it's like you're basically like you're just getting echoes to create portions of like Mario Maker, kind of like in this scenario. Kind of like, uh, you want a platform? Well, let's see, you gotta copy this first in the tutorial section, and then BAM. That's actually pretty sick. Puzzles and battle 
voice will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Hey, let's go. I'm super excited. Oh, yes. Inspired by the Legend of Zelda series. Thank God it's not next year. I hate when games are like that. Playing as Zelda in this new adventure. That is insane. Called an a journey now alone, including the period. Like this, like I like this is just like I don't know what to say. This is, looks incredible. Game of the year, maybe? Probably not, but wow. You can like the like the amount of things I can say, like the creativity around everything doesn't look like you're going to be using other weapons or maybe you could be, you could be using boomerangs and bone arrows and stuff. Just um, <laughs> you have unlimited ammo to uh, do an echo of an arrow and you constantly have unlimited of them. <laughs> That's <laughs> this looks maybe like a sequel to a link between worlds maybe like it is in the land and the art style so that's something got a little breath of the wild slash got a little breath of the wild slash tears of the kingdom little mechanic right there with the water block learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring hyrule you might be surprised hmm. at what you discover. Yeah, I, I'm just super impressed. Like, I, I'm i sure this game is going to be goddamn incredible. Like, Legend of Zelda has always have amazing success when it comes to top-down perspectives. And especially in the 2D slash 3D animation, this game is going to be insane. Like, I'm super excited. This might be my most anticipated game of the year so far. Like, I'm playing Valorant, console Valorant right now. Playing Marvel Rivals, waiting for that stuff. Um, playing X Defiant as well. But this game looks better than all three of them, just for, again, for a different reason. But, wow. Because, like, combat, you like, you can, like, attach, attack any situation in this game in unlimited potential of ways. That's insane. Huh. In a high rule without link. Oh, we got some magic potions, maybe. <laughs> the fate of the kingdom. I wonder if there's gonna be a max of how much you hold on to and stuff. That's probably gonna be it. But it is what it is. But at the same time, if it's unlimited and you can like co copy as much as you want and maybe sort them the way that you want, that would be, I would, I would enjoy that too. Or have like an alphabetical system or have like favorites that will um, appear at the beginning. Or maybe there's an organization where it's like, um, and a boss or like enemies or something. Like, I wonder how much, how tedious the uh, slide is. So, like, where was it? Um, this part right here. I wonder how tedious this part's going to be. Okay, so it's last. Oh, so there's a lot of different filters. There's five different filters. So, last use. I wonder. Okay. That actually just solved some of my questions. I'm sure there's going to be like last use, alphabetical or something, maybe some favorites. Hopefully, I hopefully they add a, like a favorite system or something like that. So if you want to classify certain enemies that you want to go into combat with or something like that. Yeah. So that's it for my live reaction, everybody. Thank you so much for like. Thank you so much if you enjoyed this. My uh, little brief little breakdown with like just my live reaction. If you want more of this, hit that like and subscribe down below. I'm super excited for like future games anytime. I will happily react to anything in Legend of Zelda. Definitely one of my favorite franchises of all time. I'm a sucker for any other games. I don't think there has been a bad Legend of Zelda game since... 
yeah no i i don't think i don't think i can think of any bad legend of zelda games at all there is probably ones that i prefer over the others but like god damn like they don't miss like everything they do is spot on okay so that's it everybody for my con or that's it everybody for my video hopefully everybody has a wonderful time and i'll see you next time okay